Elsewhere on the legal front, convicted Proud Boys Lieutenant Joseph Biggs is hoping that Trump is elected in 2024 because he's certain the former president would pardon him if he retook office. Last week, Biggs was sentenced to 17 years in prison for his role in the January 6 riots. Prosecutors originally sought 33 years. Trump hasn't said whether he'll consider pardons for the Proud Boys specifically, but has said he before that he would pardon a large portion of rioters if he were to return to the White House. Later today, Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio will learn his fate. Prosecutors are seeking a 33-year 30 year sentence for him as well. They describe Tario as someone who possessed massive popular influence over the members of his group, adding that because of this and his motives, a, quote, significant sentence is necessary. Joining us now to help us walk through it, MSNBC legal analyst Danny Savalas. Danny, great to see you again. So let's start with that man, Enrico Tario. He'll be sentenced today. Uh, two other members of the Proud Boys received substantial sentences but also significantly less than what DOJ had asked for. Why do you think that happened, and what should we expect for Tario? Because DOJ often asks for pretty high sentences, and the court is not required any longer to follow the sentencing guidelines. In other words, they have to calculate them, they have to take them into consideration, but they can go below what the sentencing guideline range suggests. And they do that fairly often, although not so much in violent-type crimes like this, but it's long been believed, and this is coming from a defense attorney, that the federal sentencing guidelines often result in a pretty draconian sentencing range. Now, you may look at these defendants and say, draconian, schmaconian, no problem, I don't care what sentence they get. But just to give you an idea, if the, the key to today is, will the governor or will the judge apply the terrorism enhancement? That an enhancement alone could add about 15 years to a sentence. It is unbelievably uh, punitive of anyone who engages in any kind of terrorism activity, which is probably uh, the way Americans like to see it. If you engage in terrorism, the sentencing guidelines will boost your sentence into the stratosphere. And let's remember, late last week, there was one January 6th rider who had begged the court for mercy, still got 10 years, and then on his way out of the courtroom screamed, Trump won. So this factors into how DOJ is looking into all of this. Uh